thousand of them. Um, they initially had two 60 V8s in them, uh, 66s and 67s, late 66s or 67s went to, went to 289s. They got sold to Chrysler in 67. They couldn't fit a 318 in it, and so that's when it stopped production. Exactly, I'll take the, I'll take the 10K one. So I took this one, and as I said, about 70K later and 12 years of time, this is what it looks like. You know, it's a lot of fun to drive, but I have a lot of friends who've killed themselves in them, because, I mean, that's why I have the roll bar. I got the cab, the bed out of a field in Ohio. And I was looking at him, tripped over the steering wheel. I knew it was the right year, so he said I could have the wheel if I bought the cab and bed. Um, took that to a friend of mine up in West Virginia. Uh, a couple weeks later, I took him tires and wheels. A couple weeks after that, I drove an S10 into the shop that needed work. So that gave me motor, trans, drive shaft, rear end, gas tank, computers, half the wiring harness. Um, he made the frame, made the hood, the grill he had laying around the shop, and he had a stack of headlights. Um, cool. Four years later, it was on the road. Cool. <laughs> Hi. All right, well, my name is Gary Binge. I live in Fairfax, Virginia. This is my 1968 Chevrolet C10 short wide bed. Uh, what was in it previous was a, uh, it's, when I received it, uh, it was a 1977 Corvette 350. And uh, which means the valves are not, it's not a very good engine. You know, it only had like 170 horsepower, if that. And uh, so I held on to that for a number of years and saved up my money as projects do. And I got a GM Performance Parts 350. And that lasted for uh, seven years. And then it dropped a cylinder. And then uh, I was investigating other, I was gonna go back to a GM performance parts but then I was investigating and my mechanic Mike recommended the uh, Blueprint 350 so that's what I went with.